Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am extra excited today because I've got that guy. Hey dude. <laughs> what a mouthful of peanut butter. Uh, Michael is with me today. I asked him what he wanted to do today and he said he wanted to do what I wanted to do. Well, I always want to go out and go thrifting. So we've got two bins that need to go to Style Encore. I wanna be where the thrifters are. <laughs> And that is, okay, so I went through all my inventory for like the thousandth time to just get it. I moved it from point A to point B and consolidated. And I sent two huge boxes, may the thread up gap partner kits and all the partner kits rest in peace. They are no longer upfront payout. I know I've talked about that, but I sent in two more with some pretty decent stuff, just stuff. I've got too much inventory and things that I knew, yes, I could sell, but I would rather send it to them. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. So as I was doing that, these were the things that thread up. I knew they, would, they weren't gonna take. The Old Navy, the, just some of the lower end brands, the Gap, the, they don't take Gap either. Like Banana Republic Factory, just some lower end stuff that I just want out. So I also, I already went to Play-Dohs. I don't know if I talked about that in the video. And sometimes Play-Dohs takes this stuff. They didn't this time. What did I make? Like 40 bucks. Like, yeah. 40 bucks. So this is the last stop before this stuff hits the road and finds a new home. And we're already halfway to the bins, basically, once we hit Style Encore. So I've got, Chipotle. and Chipotle. I'm just saying, if we're halfway to things, that's what we're halfway to. I hate Chipotle. He loves it. Maybe I'll sacrifice for you since, you know, you're going to go with me. So, style on course, first stop. I've got to drop one thing at FedEx. I have an empty bin right here. That is because I hope I have as much luck as I did last week. And Michael's goal today, of course, he's going to hunt for whatever other cool things he finds. But we are on the hunt to make some cash. Uh, so we, I'm specifically hunting Once Upon a Child items today, just like last week. And if I find anything else cool, then cool. Last week, I think I made $22. I don't know. Let's up the ante. Maybe I can make $30 today. Uh, I kind of spoke it into existence last week. So we're going to try that again. And so we're just going to hang out at the bins for a few hours before it's time to head back to Style Encore and then back to get the kiddos from school. We've only got today and tomorrow without them for the rest of the summer. Love my kids, but I'm ready for summer mostly so that we don't have to be uh, mom and dad taxis for all the things, right? Right. We're getting a break. And at home, if they're being crazy, I can say, go get in the pool. Go outside. Go outside. Go outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's my my words for the summer. Clean Go your outside. Room. Clean your room. I, 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 mm, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. We will see you at the next stop. All right. So Style Encore drop off a success. They had a really cute lily dress, new with the tags, that I'm hoping is still there when we get back because I want to trade and use some of my hopeful credit for it. Michael was carrying in my second bin, and she said, oh, we can only take one bin per customer. Well, she didn't say one per household. So I said, well, isn't he technically a different customer if he uses his ID? And you can see her wheel spinning. She was like half annoyed, half, I guess you're right, half, okay, I guess. So hopefully she's the only one in there and she's already started going through my bin. So she's the one deciding what to buy. So hopefully she buys stuff from both of us and isn't annoyed with me. So I think, I mean, I think it matters, you know, like the rapport you have with the people, just my personal opinion. All right, I will see you at the bins. What did you just find, Mr. Pruitt? Show me that label. Woo -woo. Look what I found, ew, let me see its face. Put it down, ew, what is it? But look at it, it says the tag, show me the tag. Lord and Taylor, Fifth Avenue. It's probably vintage because I doubt they can, oh my gosh. Oh, it's real. But like, it has so many legs. Ooh, look at the tail. <laughs> so they had those two bins of housewares. I found, look how cool this is. These are super heavy and a woman told, I have two of them. That is my mom's dish set. So these weigh a lot, but they retail for $70. So something about if I can fill a bucket, it's $11. I don't know. I might have to have them weigh it and see which way is better. But I know I'm going to pay a lot for those, but it's fine. All right, Goodwill, I'll play your game. So I went up there to talk to them. So just these three plates and like these little 
whatever, was gonna be $22. They told me I had to fill this little Rubbermaid tub in order to get the $11.49. So, okay, I'll get all this crap that I really don't need and hopefully pay half for the crap that I do want. Okay, but getting that plate for my mom is worth 12 bucks. It's really cute. I just wanted to show that for the record, I came here for you. <laughs> got my kids meal, which is actually quite a good deal with the chips and the drink, and it's a lot of food. We just enjoyed lunch. Yes, it was all right. I enjoyed it too, babe. Oh, don't, don't act like you don't. <laughs> it's hard to get. All right, if you see something above my head, this is my little hanging stitch. So we spent ex almost exactly two hours. We got a lot. See, when I bring this guy, I come home with a lot more crap. What? Babe, this is so cute. When you see the haul, he picked out three different things for me, and how do I say no when he buys something? thinking I need it. We got our kids some stuff. There was a shoe rotation, which that is definitely what increased. We uh, got 26 pounds. I don't remember what we spent. We'll go over that at home. But the shoe, it's just a crazy, it's a crazy experience, a shoe rotation. Um, they try to fight you. They do try to fight you. And then we have to just like wait because the people go up and just take the scoopfuls and then you have to stand there while they toss back all the really great stuff. The stuff they don't want is the stuff we want, like two pairs of Tory Burch shoes. But anyway, so he also helped me look for kids' clothes today. There are some pieces. Unfortunately, I forgot my scissors and I forgot my lint roller, which is, I, I have a feeling they're not going to take some of this stuff just because it needs to be lint rolled and that's it. But you don't even know if you don't try. Never know if you don't try. So it's this bag worth. I didn't, I don't know what the weight is. I was, the check out, I was originally going to separate this stuff, but this is the brand Ruffle Butts. I don't know if they'll take this. I mean, I feel like I need to lay it flat to dry, uh, but it's just a 3T cute little thing. I, as always, there's a couple things, like these are Under Armour, a size youth large. If they don't want them, my son likes to wear these kind of things. This doesn't have a size, but it's so cute. I love the Little Mermaid. It's a gymnastics outfit, which they always have. These, oh my gosh, how darling are these? These look like they're made by Grindeen. It says something, I don't know, Susie Baby but they are the soft, really nice type. They don't smell bad like the knockoff mini Melissa's. So we'll see. This was like the first thing I found when we got there. Lots of kid stuff today. This is classic whimsy, just a really cute little vintage inspired gingham little girl's dress. This, I already pulled the Goodwill tag off of it. They wanted $8.99 for this. This is a youth size 10, 12, an oversized Tom and Jerry sweatshirt. This is a Tommy Hilfiger. Again, something that like I feel like it needs a lint roll. Some Cat and Jack shorts. Children's Place, but that'd be a cute hip hop shirt for one of my kids next year. Just this brand looked nice, but I looked up, it was nothing. Hummel. They're just a pair of little shorts, but they feel well made. These are like knockoff Converse, but they're sparkly and they're brand new. They still have the little thing in there. They weighed next to nothing. These are, I mean, not say, they're probably not going to take these. They might. They're Kamek. I have sold these. They're hard sole slippers, but they need a bit of a sweater shave. They're toddler size 11. This is a fun dinosaur shirt by Cat and Jack. Lots, last time I had lots of Wonder Nation. Today I have lots of Cat and Jack. Like these are a kid size 10. These are my son's size, but they're wrinkly and have a whole lot of lint on them, but they're not faded. We got some Old Navy little shorts. Those are my daughter's size. I think she has those. Wonder Nation size six, seven. Just a really cute little Hawaiian summer shirt. Jumping beans. I feel like they are almost always buy boy stuff. These are Polo Ralph Lauren size five. They are Christmassy, but they don't look like they've ever been worn and they feel like really good quality. Michael found this, just a cute little Dr. Seuss sweatshirt. This is More Than Magic, which is the Target little, another one of those gymnastics outfits, but that one has a size. This is cute. I didn't know they made kid stuff. CNC California, but it's a youth size 10, 12. I'm going for it again. My daughter got to keep the bathing suit from last time. In fact, she wore it to school on beach day. She liked all the fringe with some little high rise denim shorts. So cute. But this is just Cat and Jack size 2T. The other one was Cat and Jack also. They didn't want a bathing suit last time. 
this. I try to stay away from little onesies, but how cute was this? Like the little jersey is almost separate. And another pair of Cat and Jack size eight boots. There are a couple marks, but if you've been to a Once Upon a Child, I often think, how did they take that person's crap and not mine? And lastly, this is another Cat and Jack, just a little t-shirt. So um, I will count these pieces up and we will see how much we can make. Um, now that I see everything that we got, I'm gonna, I originally said 30 bucks. I don't know, may, I'll be lucky maybe to get 20 this time around, but we'll see, we will see what we get. Final count, 24 items. Wish me luck. I wanted to share a couple things that I ended up leaving behind, but just a couple brands to know. These are Jacati Paris. I think I'm saying that right, but they make high-end kids clothing and shoes. So if you find the brand, these were just a little too beat up. I would definitely pick it up. I definitely have luck selling it on Poshmark and Kitizen. These next shoes are just Old Navy, but this particular style, I believe you, you say Harache. I, I don't know if that's correct, but they will always sell. If you find them for bins pricing, they wanted $4.50. Definitely wouldn't pay that much, but if you find them for cheap, they always sell for me. It's a style from a few years ago. This is just to show what a mess. It's a labor of love to dig through the shoes. And another brand to know is Zaxi, Z-A-X-Y. Same parent company as Mini Melissa and Grindine. And they smell good. They have the same type of structure, jelly style. So definitely another brand to pick up if the price is right. These Tiva sandals I did pick up. They just needed a quick little wipe down. All right, so I had to share this item really quickly. These are some really awesomely painted vans. They say, go Knights. I'm here in Orlando. This is our local college, UCF. I mean, I guess it's a big college these days. When I was in college, it was still growing, but the University of Central Florida, the Knights, and um, we got these for a friend of ours who happens to be the friend, look how they did such a great job, who is on her way to my house right now to pick up my kid for a pool party. So I wanted to send these off with her. So she will appreciate them even though they are used and they are a, a women's size six. So I believe that is her size and her son's size and they go to all of the games. I think they have annual passes. So yay, I'm always on the lookout for things for people that I love. Welcome back. It's the next day. It's the last day of school. Today's the last the day. The last school. day of school. We made it, but. For this year. Yes. It uh, might mean a little bit less bin strips we can do together. Once upon a child, remember that was part of the goal was to make back some of my money. I am hoping my receipt from the actual bins turns up in this haul. Oh, you haven't found it. No, I think I spent like around, I want to say $62 and change. I will. Put it down below if I can't find the receipt, but if I do, you guys will know. You saw what we took into Once Upon a Child. It was a little strange because, I mean, I could have counted wrong. I thought I took in 24 items. They only did not purchase two, but my receipt says they bought 23. So, you know, is what it is. There was one extra item in there. Yeah, maybe. Um, now, the other thing, like Michael asked me, I, in the future, I'm going to try to just annoy them and be extra and ask them to weigh just the kids stuff by itself. It's just a little difficult, especially the times that you don't have a cart, but or a second person, well, or a second person. Yes. Um, so I got back for those 23 items, $21 and 55 cents. I'm getting pretty good at looking. I said, Hey, I'm, I'm probably going to get about 20 bucks, which mm -hmm. I did. Um, so that in my mind dropped my total from 62, whatever, but you know, then I have to theoretically, I should know exactly what those items weighed you know, to still account for that in the total, right? I don't know, this is the math guy. The two items they didn't take, these, because they need sweater shaved, but honestly, I'm gonna sweater shave them. I'm gonna list these myself. They're camic, they're nice. I will be able to sell these for more than they would take anyway. And surprisingly, they didn't take this little dress, sort of surprisingly, like they're, I, I'm, maybe I missed a steam. This is a really cute, like Southern style dress. I will list this myself, but thinking about it, the location of this store, it's definitely not the clientele that's buying the the lily and the smocking and, and the little cute stuff like this. This would be more a location that I prefer to go to across town. So, you know, they do purchase items based on who shops there. So surprising yet not, um, I still, it would not stop me from picking up this style in the future. So I don't think I showed you these I found last minute. I did end up walking out with these. These are Seek High Run, not the basics line from Target. And uh, they are a toddler size 11. 
$3.50 was the price, but I knew I had a 15% off coupon. Uh, usually I only get 15% off of one item when I trade in, but I got 15% off my entire purchase. So I don't know if she just did it wrong. So I actually only paid $2.97 for these. I did pick up the little Tevas. They had it $4.50, so I paid $3.82. And then my son, whew, the last birthday party of this year is coming up next weekend. It is a neon glow in the dark theme. And this is his size and could not be more not perfect. perfect. Yeah. So this was a whole $2.12. That one was meant to be. This really was. And then Style Encore, uh, you know, we had our two purchases. Yeah, someone had a better bin. Um, they actually, out of these bins were both full to the top. They bought 10 items from both of us. I didn't realize that that day. Oh. Uh, and then they don't have any coupons or discounts or sales on those. That's their Lily. limit. They don't tell you, but. Right. I ended up basically getting two Lily pieces for free, essentially. They gave me $23.65 for 10 items, which $2.37 is not like I, I aim for three bucks an item when I take stuff there, but it was not the best of stuff. She did tell me I had a lot of uh, winter items, which is true, like lightweight sweaters, but check out this brand new with the tags, size extra large Lily dress. I am gonna try this on just because I love it so much. Might be a little big, but I'm gonna see if it works as a cover up. And the original price on this is $108. Just a really cute dress. I will absolutely be able to sell this and it will sell quickly and I will make a profit. They wanted $28, so I gave them $4.63 out of my Once Upon a Child cash and walked out, and I've already sorted. My best friend is about to get three little bags of clothes of stuff they didn't take for her and her teenage daughter. She loves when I send a text, hey, I've got clothes. And then Michael, what'd you make? Uh, $27.76. So $2.78, and same thing. I had him do a trade. He traded for this one and contributed a whopping 25 cents to the whatever. So mm -hmm. I feel like I walked out with two Lily pieces, whether I keep them for myself or list them. That was still a huge win for all of that stuff was leftover thread up 200 pound bulk box stuff. Now let's get into my, let's just say until I find my receipt, approximately $45 haul. I, I question a lot of the things that Goodwill does, but they have a, a housewares hard goods section and obviously stuff is heavier. Been to the bins, you know how big the big blue bins are. They only had two with housewares. So I wanted these three plates and they are heavy. Like this plate right here probably weighs four pounds. Here, hold that. Yep. So there's two matching of those. And honestly, I wanted them for personal use like for Christmas time they're really cute nice platters to set out for uh, you know Christmas time they have a, a Kohl's $70 price tag on the back of both of them uh so these two plates and then this plate I picked up my mom growing up we had this false craft tea rose collection uh, my entire childhood now my mom lives next door and this is still what she so we eat dinner over there quite often yes, she does not have this it says welcome to our home and Goodwill originally wanted six bucks. So anyway, these three plates, I'm like, this is heavy. I asked a worker, I've never bought hard goods. I mean, I bought some stuffed animals, but I always just throw that in. She said, you have to fill one of our tubs. So imagine a Rubbermaid tub, but cut in half, like this, that's how big it is, style. the short ones, and the lid has to go on it. So if you fill that, it's $11.49. And I said, okay, you have to fill it, Yes, I'm like, well, you don't really have that much stuff. I, I, in my mind, I don't see why it matters how much, as long as it fits in, like I was willing to pay $11.49 for those three plates, but they told me I couldn't. Like I, after she told me that, I wanted to clarify, there was no one in line, I wouldn't ask the worker. He goes, yeah, you'd have to just pay by the pound. I'm like, okay, weigh these for me. Those three plates, I didn't do the math, we we're gonna be $21 and change. So $1.89 per pound is what we pay. So I don't know how many pounds would that be? I don't know. 22 divided by $1.89. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, so pounds. I have to fill the bin. He showed me the bin. I'm like, all right. So we went over and just started putting crap in the cart. So I did not need this bunny. It's some known, I'm, I'm literally just gonna donate this, which is like, I mean, I guess maybe they'll make money from it again. I don't know, I don't see the oh, point of- Babies are us. It is. I mean, maybe I'll list it because maybe that's someone's lovey. You did find a really cool Orlando Solar Bears like retro pin. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yep. This, I just had to have. This is like a vintage Tupperware little bowl. We'll use this, I'm always, you know. And this is Caflon, which is the, this matches my dish set. 
actually. So is that the same handle? I don't know, but the so maybe it looks, it looks, it looks very similar. But I don't have the one that has the pour spouts, and I'm always making gravies and, it's and got stuff. Got the measure lines inside. Yeah. So you know what? Cool. I will keep that. This I thought was funny. An angry. I was just throwing everything in because I knew this Tetris man could fit it all. Um, angry mama microwave cleaner. I haven't even like. <laughs> isn't this funny? Like I guess you put water. Yeah, you. It's dishwasher safe. You fill water, remove it by add vinegar and water, and it steams and yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay. This is insanely heavy. Um, but Michael's been organizing our garage. This kind of matches the aesthetic of our house, but um, it's just a little hanging thing. I'm like, you can put this in the garage and hang. I don't know something. Y'all, I was just trying. I'm, I'm filling this thing. These I'm going to use for my son's neon birthday party. Just two brand new in the package tablecloths. Some random napkins. I mean, we'll use them. Some two teal glass plates. We do have teal dishes. Almost done with this. These are the, my kids are starting to eat a lot more. These are just the room essentials from Target, like the plates that are dishwasher and microwave safe. Oh, so yeah. we'll we use them. Oh, so this thing, which I'm going to clean up. So if you come to our annual Christmas white elephant party, pretend you didn't see this, but he's just a little dusty. He's really cute. Uh, he holds a wine bottle, so I'll pick up a nice bottle of wine and that will be one of our part of one of our gifts. But like, okay, instead of me just paying $12 for those three things, I got all the things you've just seen, plus this pan Michael found, uh, Toxin Free, a blue diamond. I haven't looked this up. Maybe we can sell this. I don't need a griddle. I have one. I'll have to look yeah, it up on no, the I think it was, it was brand new. Yeah, and a giant wok, which... We have one. This is called I M U S A. I'm USA. I don't never heard of it, but maybe I'll, we'll donate this to the Boy Scouts troop. Can you guys use that camping? I don't know. Or put yeah. it in our camp van. I mean, essentially in my mind, I paid twelve bucks for those three plates that I wanted. This is not that wasn't for resale and got all the rest of that crap for free. But taking Michael to the bins, I feel like we end up with more stuff. I love it. I love it, babe. I love it because I'm always I trying don't. to get you to buy stuff. I'm trying to throw stuff away right now. Okay, but he's the one. Like, babe, we need this. However, it wasn't junk. Though. It was two shirts for you. Three. Three. Okay, so I did find this for him. This is a Columbia fishing shirt, but this feels a lot thicker. It's quality. heavier, dude. It's yeah. almost like Rip scrubs. Stuff. Yeah. Like like scrubs, like nurse scrubs, that heavier canvas. Yeah. So it's that is for normal. personal. Okay, you guys. This might have been. And maybe it's because it's Columbia, but it's not, it's not PFG. Oh, I think maybe. P, that PFG stuff's that lighter stuff, weight. The, the water wicking. Okay, yeah. so this might be our find of the day, but imagine you guys know I have pet ducks, right? We basically, I call us the farm, the lake farmhouse, um, yeah. farm lake house, whatever. Right, <laughs> We've got so many animals. It's on a sign somewhere. I reached in a bin and I felt a paw, like straight up with nails, and there was like nobody around. This bin had been there. And. I pull out, literally, you guys, this. I pull out a foot, and I'm like, what? Like, I th I thought there was an animal. I don't know. And then it just she's like, At that moment, she's like, babe. Yeah, I'm like, babe, come here. There is a creature. Oh, is that There's its head. And I'm like, what is this? So uh, then I see it's Lord and Taylor. Then I realize. It's very soft. Okay, this is, an, this is real fur. So after. Oh, it smells like it. Michael did some digging. This is a mink. Stole, but it's made out of okay hold on so that's one one two two three 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 minks three minks one head yeah and that's how they always do it yeah um it has one little thing that needs to be repaired did you see it one i think little... it's just one of them's kind of starting to hang yeah so my mom said she would fix it for me but it's not even like a leg or something it's just a piece of I don't know what it is. There, just, there's the help. thread is all still there, so yeah. she's gonna sew it back together. It oh, put that away. It's home that it came Fifty from. bucks to over three hundred dollars. So I don't know. No matter what it goes for, I think you're gonna profit on that. I think that would pay for my entire haul. At the end of the day, can I make fifty bucks off of that? Yes. So is it shedding a little bit? Oh yeah. Okay. There was a shoe rotation. That is always, I'm glad you, you got to experience that. It is always a- People are crazy in there. And like just rude and they just- I usually don't even go. Scoop thing. He wasn't gonna like, babe, let's just go walk, but let them do their scooping. You just look in and, and just, you know. These, 
Tory Burch. All leather. All leather. Nice, cute little wedges. The only issue is they're they little. a size six and a half, but they're so cute. So, yeah, would a Goodwill want 15 bucks, which still wouldn't have been a terrible price. No, because they're in decent shape. I'm going to use this thing. Here, you can talk about these. So, okay. I had a lot of weight because we actually did pick up several pairs of shoes. You saw the once upon a child ones, yeah. too. She found these also. She came to me and goes, I think I found real Harley Davidson boots, which, yes. yes, they are. Harley Davidson, they're a women's size eight and a half. I did already look them up. I think I can get an easy 40 to $50. They have, like they say, Harley on here. I mean, they're nice. The only condition issue is the back of the heels a little bit, which is from probably holding on, right? Maybe like, riding, I don't know, yeah. I don't, I don't have a motorcycle to know how that yeah. works. But. but they're like, none of the leather is cracking, which that's been the issue anytime I've found Harley boots in the past is the leather is cracking on the outside, but they're in really good condition. And I, Google Lens showed me the name of them really quickly. Michael found these. I only, I, I said yes, even though they're a project, but they're, I already- Yeah, they're worn out. I have enough shoes right now that I need to do a shoe cleaning day. And literally, by shoe cleaning, these are going to sit in my sink with soapy Blue Dawn dish soap water. I'm going to use a toothbrush and a magic eraser. But they're mini Melissa. They are um, the, a Disney collaboration. They're a big kid size three. Well, they will sell. Michael hit the jackpot. Um, these were new in the bag. And I we put the bag back because I, didn't need, I knew we would keep these and use them. But these are Block, B-L-O-C-H, and Capizio. Those are the two dance shoe brands you want. These are a, the nice kind that we like with no laces and they are um, canvas. So they hold up better than the leather ones. Yeah, brand new. And we, those are, we will be saving those for my little dancers. Found a lot of dance shoes. Yes, he came to me like with his hands full. So we do musical like, theater. Do you, want, do you want these? Jazz. She's like, get them all. Because even if I, they always will sell online. So even if you find the cheaper brands. These are the neat ones I found though. I've never seen that style before. Yeah, these are. They're jazz shoes. I know, but I'm just used to seeing like little. So they like, have the laces. Below the ankle cut style. And these are. And that's like a, a, a boot. little boot. Yeah, for certain costumes and stuff. Yeah, but. Yep. Yeah. So three three pairs of jazz shoes and a pair of ballet shoes. Michael, you t you took the credit for these. I did find these too. This is when he was standing next to a woman stalking her as she was throwing back what she didn't want. Why would you not want? Yeah. Tory Burch Millers. Uh, no idea. These are my size. These are probably staying in my closet. They have a tiny bit of like the toe wear, but all of mine do. And a little um, Wonder Balls. The Wonder Balls, yes. though, will fix that Absolutely. right Absolutely. But from the top looking down, you can't even see it. But the butt, like. Yeah, no, they're in good shape. Yeah, they're honestly. women's size nine. Uh, so. A lot of life on the bottom. I don't have brown. So. You have brown now. I do. Thank you, babe. How now, brown cow? You found this too. See, you do always find, I like taking you because while we come home with more stuff. Oh, well, because I know like, I, I don't know the brands like she does. Um, I mean, I have learned that when something feels soft, I like at least inspect it to make sure it's not, uh, what's one of the fabrics that's good that you want me to always get if it's there, like silk, for example, right? You want silk, but this, I saw a tag on it. So I was like, oh, let me check it out. And it's a hand towel with this, you know, cute little, funny drawing we'll keep it we, yep. we go through and so you go so through this child that's what, so i held that one up i was like do so you want this this was probably in the most picked over bin there was like not a lot of stuff even left in it and i'm like what is this I, it felt good quality it's heavy and so as i start holding it out i'm like it's a christmas tree skirt now yes it has some staining from christmas tree water it has all of the buttons it's a really cute pattern and color. And I'd I'm say like, it's probably reversible too. You could do this actually, side yeah. and just do plain red because the yeah. way the stitching is, it's not, it's yep. nice on both sides. And I did find the tag. It is restoration hardware, which is to me a high, more higher end than Pottery Barn. This was probably like a stupid amount of several hundred dollars. Hmm. So uh, we he looked it up and it's super quick because he, he had service and I didn't. Well, um, I don't know. It was weird, though. It was only one bar, but yes, it was uh, I couldn't pull so. up anything. So he found a couple comps around $100. And no, so. Worth it to grab. This, like, there are several pieces that we got. While I feel like there, was, there wasn't, like, one stunner, tons of things, just those Millers would pay for the entire haul, which that's what's so great about the bins. You found that? I did find this, too. Yes, so this is another one. I do know this because you're so obsessed. But when I was digging through and I kind of saw like a glimpse of this print, I was like, 
that really looks like a lily print. And as soon as I picked it up enough, sure enough, I could see the, the, pink, tag. the pink tag. So I held that up and I said, look what I've got. So it's a little, little skirt. Yeah, there's one tiny little stain on the back. Yeah, I found it, one. It just needs to be washed, that's it all. Was, yeah, it was this little, right here. I don't know if the camera will even pick it up. That tiny little, little yellow spot is a stain. So, so there was only one rotation. We were there two hours, guys, in and out in two hours, which I feel like when you're with me, the time doesn't, it's not a vortex like when I go in there and like hours pass. But we we spent ninety percent of our time besides that shoe bin looking in picked over bins. That's and we only we, went through like two, two rows, rows, which was I, I want to say it was like three One, bins. But yeah, so, so he bins. was across from me and did those three, and I did these three so I could look at his beautiful face across from me. That's all the bins that we did, and we got all this stuff. So yeah, it was a good turnout. We'll speed it up a little now. So an Athleta shirt. I mean, I, I know that not everybody's looking for the same stuff, but plus all that kid stuff that we found. This was the first thing I found when we got there. Wild Fox, which I love for personal use. Ever since they did a Sam's Club collaboration, which I have all of those, they're cute and equally as soft. The resale value tanked, which is fine. I did get this for me. It is their Intimates line and it's a little Christmas shirt. So I thought that was fun that for to wear to bed. Toad & Co. What, what, they had, what was their old name? Like the Horny Toad? Or it was something super weird <laughs> like that. I think maybe just some cute little London shorts. Oh, I did get this as a project for myself because I felt the material and I knew this was going to be something good. If this is Sweet Honey, which know the brand. If you like comfortable women's pajamas, they make women's pajamas oh, as well. The All the you. gowns that I wear. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Um, so Sweet Honey, definitely a brand to know. This is the cutest little rainbow dress. Now it does have some stains on it, but I'm gonna give this a good OxyClean soak. It was worth it to try a gorgeous little twirl dress. It's only a 3T or else I would squeeze Molly in it, but super cute. This brand does very, very well. I didn't know what it was, but I just saw the, the print, which was, you know, some nice Disney care sketch, but it's actually a, a pillowcase. Yeah. So we're Disney lovers around here. Well, not the parks at the moment, but not the parks, but we're always going to be a fan of the Disney, Disney classics movies, and movies, especially stuff. the classics and the movies. Yeah, I'll list that. I've listed several pillowcases over the years and somebody out there has that sheet set and needs a pillowcase or they just want that. Okay. Super picked over bin. I found a pair of cabbie jeans. Goodwill wanted $12 for They're a nice size or an eight. They are skinny, but look at the, it has like a built on looking belt. Oh, see, so yeah, it looks yeah. like one of those uh, leather belts. Um, they are a size belts. eight. They are a skinny, but for the women like me that will forever love their skinnies, I decided to pick them up. Oh, you found that. That was another one for you, hmm. maybe. I'd say, so for you slash or sell. Yes. Because it is a PFG, Columbia, Columbia PFG. women's. Yeah. And it's pink and it's, it's a large a nice and color. I'm going to try it on. And yeah. And are you saying Goodwill wanted $8, Eight bucks, $8 yeah. for it originally? Yeah. You found that. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, yes. This was a good find. I think that one. See, my problem is I, I do. I think of our kids and stuff. For, I'm like, oh, this this would probably fit Keegan. But I'm like, oh, no, we should we should buy it. It's sell. a men's size small. It does not. It won't fit him for uh, another couple okay. of years. So then recently. But we don't find Patagonia that often here. I don't like not. And that's um like your. Trampoline base your, layer. What a what a. That's literally what it's called. What is it? it babe, I don't say, I don't give me that much credit. It literally says right here. Okay. I just hadn't heard that term. I was just going to say your water wicking shirt. I did Sweat find wicking. this. It's from yeah. Pier One. We need it. How cute is he? It's Minnie Bowden it's calls stitch. it calls it super stitching, which I don't know if Minnie Bowden is the only one that uses that term. Maybe not, but it, the super stitch shirts go for a lot. If you find Minnie Bowden little kid shirts that have embroidery that looks like this. Uh, so cute little zip on pillowcase. We will definitely use that. I go all and out. Just the one? Just one. I didn't know if there was two. Oh, here's the other Columbia shirt you found me. A long sleeve one. A long one, sleeve one, but, but also PFG. Yeah, it's a medium, so I don't know about that. I did find you a hat. You did find me a hat. I like this. It's, it says Freedom, uh, the Under Armour logo on the side with the stars, and it's actually really I'm just clean. I wearing pink camo. He loves camo. Loves it. This I thought was cute. It's Vans, but it's Toy Story and Toy Story anything will sell. I'm gonna throw Always. it in the washing machine. It's not perfect, you know, it's got some wear around the edges, but it's cute and I believe it will sell. Should have been, this got mixed in with the clothes in my car. This should have been free because it should have been in my bin, but that's fine. When I first walked over to the housewares bin, I'm like, look at my cute kangaroo and it even has a pouch and it's American Girl. Hmm. So I'm 
I mean, I, I know he'll sell. My girls must go to one of the books or something. Yes, yeah, so there's a girl, an Australian girl. A down on under it, so story. It will sell. I couldn't have. I didn't have service. And I almost put back, and I couldn't remember. Like there are so many fast fashion brands, Shein and. Um, you know all the brands. You know. I couldn't remember if Young, Fabulous, and Broke was one of those. I just, like I it. mean, the tag is nice, and I couldn't remember. My phone was not working. I finally, this is a velvety long cardigan with it looks pockets. Like a suede. No, like it's uh, no, velvet. Okay, yeah. velour. So any anyway, velour, yes. Yeah, I finally word. got service, and there's one of these listed for sixty five dollars. I couldn't get the solds to load. I'm like, you know what? Okay, it's worth it. You found this. Did I? You got me oh. a Forever 21 shirt that I will only wear to is bed. It, is that where it's from? Yes, but you're like, you have to get You this. have to wear this because she's made in 85 and still is all original. Yes, I was born in 1985. Perfect. Uh, this Michael found, and it just, it feels really nice. He ended up looking it up once he got service. It's, it's an Amazon thing, but they come in like a three pack for like 20 bucks, but it's a right. shimmy for, you can wear around your neck. Like a personal your, sweat. Chamois, yeah. yeah, the microfiber, very, very soft. Here you go. Uh, also found this in the bags. Um, it is a Camelback Mule, which I actually own this exact same bag. And uh, it's, at least at the time, I don't know. It was their nicest out. one. Yeah, it was the largest one. It has the most carrying capacity. It still had the bladder, but yeah. that's just why I don't trust. Uh, you know, people wash them as good. So I actually took that out too, just to reduce the weight. Cause uh, I have other bladders from other camelbacks of our own, but so I picked this up for my son. So, you know, we do scouting, a lot of outdoors hiking stuff. Get ready stuff. to go on a camp, big camping trip. Yeah, we're going to North Carolina this summer. So uh, now he's got a better size one than the one he has to carry more of his stuff on our hikes. Yeah, and last thing, I also found this in the housewares bin. Dang, I paid for this too. Who's that guy? It's oh, just a one. random, like a beanie boo, but, but by Russ. Like, so you get these at like the little Hallmark stores or whatever. At the register. They're like, I, yes. The, 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 like, in the cart. They're like $9.99. I'm like, oh, can I have that? So this I got to throw in our gift bin for when my girls get invited to like a million birthday parties because it's new in the package. So there you have it. That right. is that our, it? I never found the receipt. Dang it. It must be in the van, like the console or I somewhere. No, it was definitely like 61 or $62 in change. Yeah, so approximately $45. Okay. I don't know how many items I have here. I'll do a rough count, um, but I can't imagine I spent over a dollar an item because I, I typically do not, especially if we take into account, I think there was more than 12 items we got for oh, there. Probably. So, all right. Which item was your favorite? Uh, drop me a, a like or a comment or both. And School is out, so I have been popping out barely one video a week. My goal is to, over the summer, maybe increase to two, get back to sharing yeah. the, the what solds and all of that. It's crazy having the kids here, but I feel like this stuff you're going to get more done because now we're not having all the schedules of like yes. drop off, pick up, ballet, piano, I start piano, taking scout, pictures. Like, I'm like, crap, it's pick up we time. We don't have places to be anymore. We just have the kids under our hands. Right. Which, and, I, and they are all, I mean, my kids, my kids, our kids are eight, ten, and. Depends, right? If they're being bad. Yeah. Talk to your son. They're almost eight. They're eight, ten, and he'll be twelve next week. And so if I say, "Hey, quiet," I have to do a video. They're they are they good are. kids. So, all right. Well, happy summer, friends. Thank you Cheers. so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yes, you see my shirt talking about alcohol in the last day of school. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye, guys.